Collections are a great way to organize your products on your Shopify store, but if you have a lot of different products or you're constantly adding in new ones, it can be a lot to manage. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to set up automated collections for your Shopify store. You can set up collections for individual product groups like categories like shoes or handbags, or you can set them up for more broader things like gifts under $50. There are a lot of different ways that you can use collections to categorize your products together. And there's two different ways that you can set up collections in your Shopify store backend. You can set up a manual collection, which means that you'd be adding in the products manually every time and saying which collection you want them to go in. And you can also set up automated collections. So you set up different rules and conditions that once your product meets that, it's gonna automatically be added into that collection. So I wanna go in and actually show you how to set up these automated collections because they can really help you save time when setting up collections for your Shopify store. So to get to the collections area, first you're going to go to products in your left-hand menu and then collections. So now that we're on the collections main page, you can see I have a couple collections already set up here, but we're gonna hit create collection in the top right hand corner. And here you can see your different options. So you can name your collection and do a description as well as add in your collection image. But what we're gonna go over now is the collection type. So you can set up it to be manual again so that you can add your products in manually for the collection. But for automated collections, you have to set up these different conditions or rules. So you have different filters that you can do this by. You can click on this first drop down and see the different options here. So we have product title, type, vendor, price, tag, compare at price, weight, inventory stock, and the variant title. So some of the common ones that I use are product type. So we could say product type is equal to, and this will pull in your product types that you already have set up on your Shopify store. So if we click on this here, we can see that we have a couple different product types. So we could say set to card set. And this way, if any of the products that are already set up on our Shopify store have the product type of card set, it'll automatically pull it into this collection. You can also change this center dropdown to be not equal to. So if you wanted it to be any of the products, so for example, you could do for, let's say jewelry, you could make this to be where it's multiple different products. So you could say, okay, this is a jewelry collection and do the product type is equal to earrings here. And then you could add in another of product type is equal to bracelets. So you could have multiple different things. You would just wanna make sure if you were doing a bigger, more broad collection like jewelry, that you also go in and change this products must match. Because right now, if we change this to earrings and bracelet, then the product would have to match both of these product types, which is not possible because you can only assign one product type for each product. So you would wanna make sure then that you would add any condition. So that way, if you had this as the jewelry collection, it could be either an earring product or a bracelet product to actually be added then into this bigger, broader jewelry collection. So you can add different conditions and continue to go down the list. So again, we could also say, you know, we want to just do items that are under a certain dollar amount. So let's delete this one right here and let's go back to all conditions. And then we can say, add another condition. And now let's do this based on a product price. So we'll choose product price from the list and we can say $50, but let's do for anything under $50. So we'll change this center drop down from is greater than to is less than $50. So now this would be earrings under $50. And you could add in multiple products like that. You would wanna make sure though that it's all conditions now so that it would have to be an earring product and it would have to be less than $50. If you did the any condition at this point, it would add all earrings and all products under $50. So you just have to make sure that you are adding in the correct conditions as well as setting it up correctly for 
the different ways that it must match. So let's go ahead and delete this and we'll change the product type to a collection that we already have. So I'm just gonna say card set. So once you have your product set up, you can then see it's automatically pulling in whatever products then go with the conditions and you can still go in and add additional conditions. You can also choose to then sort your collection. So if you click on this here, you can choose to have it automatically sorting by either your best selling, alphabetical, sort it by price or the date that it was added, or you can also do manual. And then you'll get these dots here on the side and you can drag it and drop it in whatever order that you want it to be in. This is a great way to organize your collection so that especially if you have a lot of products in here that you can keep it really nice and organized moving forward. I hope you found this quick tips video helpful and if you're interested we have more videos in a playlist over here all about these Shopify quick tips. So they're videos like this that are five minutes or less all about how to set up and grow your Shopify store. And if you haven't yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We post new videos every week all about Shopify and how to grow your online store.